All right, so our mobile app is almost complete. Uh, the last thing we need to do is to be able to update our to-dos. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up. Okay, I got the index page open along with the main.js. Okay, and we have the app right here. All right, so what we want to do is when we click on a to-do, we want to be able to change this and then save it and have it basically replace uh, this to do all right and we're we don't have we're using local storage and we don't have basically a primary key that uh, auto increments we can't just say delete uh, like you would with a for instance an SQL query delete um, to do where ID equals two or something like that we don't have an ID so basically we're gonna look for it by name and date okay so if the to do matches the name and date we're gonna delete it and then we're gonna replace it with a new one alright so that's basically what we're gonna be doing uh, so let's go to main.js and I'm gonna go under the the add form submit Okay, so we want to get the edit form. Okay, and when that's submitted, all right, so we want to get the current to do and put that into a variable or two variables. Okay, so we're just going to copy this. And you're going to see a lot of the same functionality as there is in the add to do. All right. In the delete the to do because essentially we're adding a we're adding a new to do to replace it and then we're deleting the old one. So you'll see a lot of the a lot of repeat functionality. All right. So next thing we want to do is loop through the to do's which I can do I can grab um and actually grab it from the delete box, the delete block. So I'm going to copy that. All right, so we're going to go through all the to-dos in the list. And basically, we want to uh, delete we want to delete wherever this the current to-do name is, okay? So the current to-do name we want gone. We want the, the name and the date gone. Okay, so then after that, we want to create a new to do. Okay, so our input values, we're going to create a couple variables. So to do name edit. edit dot val okay so we'll put whatever's in the input um, into these variables the value I'm going to do the same thing with date okay so in our HTML we should have this uh, to do date edit which we have and we actually don't so in the edit page, we want our input to have um, the name should be to do name edit because we want to differentiate this from this from the add form to do name. Okay, we'll do the same with the date. Oh, I'm sorry. We need to do date edit. Uh, okay. So we'll save that. Okay, so get the values. Um, next. Our to do's json.parse. Local storage dot get item.
All right, so now we want to create an array with our updated field values. Okay, so whatever we put in there. Create array with new values. Okay, so we'll call this update to do. I call it an array, but it's actually a JSON object. Uh, to do name is going to be to do name edit. To do date. Edit. Okay. So basically, what we're going to want to do is push this onto the main uh, JSON object which holds all of our to dos. Okay, and we did this in the add functionality, and we can actually just copy it. And we can actually copy both lines. All right, the only difference is we want to change this to update to do. All right, and hopefully that does it. So let's save this. Okay, so reload. Let's go to test to do three. Okay, something went wrong because it's not showing up. I'm pretty sure I know why. Uh, we, we updated these inputs in the edit form to to do name edit and to do date edit so we need to also update that in the the edit form block because where is it I'm sorry in the um, down here on the page show okay let me just put in a comment here insert current data into edit form. Okay, uh, so we want to update here. You can see we have name to do name. We just want to say edit. And that should fix that. So let's reload. All right, so it's getting inserted. Now let's change this to, uh, we'll just say update, updated save all right so now we're getting undefined let's take a look at our resource to do's all right so I stopped the video and found the issue uh, we need to change this ID here this should be to do name edit and to do date edit All right, so what we want to do, we'll clear everything, add a new to-do. All right, so click on it. Let's edit it. I'll just say updated, save, and there it is. All right, so now we have uh, create, read, update, and delete functionality for our app. We can also filter, uh, clear the to-dos, so uh, every aspect seems to be done. Um, feel free to add on to this, create more fields, um, whatever. Oh, there is one thing I want, uh, one more thing I wanted to do is I want to put the date here, okay, just kind of float it over here so you can see uh, when you're supposed to do your to-dos. All right, so if we go up here, I'm sorry, we want to go in the JavaScript file and where we're generating this list item. Um, I'm just going to put a span okay, and then in the span I want to put the date. So I'm going to have to do a concatenate And we just want to put in value dot to do date. 
All right. Okay, so we have the date right here. Uh, I, what I want to do is make it lighter and float it over to the right. So I'm going to go into the CSS file, which, by the way, I don't think we even... All right, so we do have uh, a span tag. Oh, wait, this is the done. I need to go to here. Yeah, up to this point, we haven't even put anything in our style sheet. Everything has been generated with jQuery Mobile, uh, but it's still a good idea to have a separate style sheet. All right, so we want to grab that span tag. So ID to do's is the the ID for the list, and then we just want the span. Okay, we'll make it a light gray. Float to the right. And let's make the font size 90%. Okay. There we go. So that looks a lot better. All right. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Uh, that's it, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.